Is the Prime Minister responsible for the attacks upon Keir Starmer and his colleagues yesterday? And the answer is obviously yes, but only in part. And the reason I would say that to you is because the element of the abuse and attack directed at the leader of the opposition that focused directly and was spawned directly from Boris Johnson's lie in the House of Commons, which he has attempted, obviously, to um, sort of retreat from without admitting that he lied in the first place, only formed a small part of the abuse directed at the leader of the opposition. And these people would have been there anyway. I've, I've had the misfortune... I say misfortune, I mean, it can be quite amusing, but there's always that worry in the back of your mind that this, this, this one might be the real wrong one. I, I've had the misfortune of encountering these mobs myself on occasion. I, I told you the story. I, I was sort of almost like a Wimbledon um, uh, viewer, a Wimbledon spectator, with a, a fellow on one side accusing me of being a massive racist because I'd blocked him on Twitter, and a fellow on the other side accusing me of supporting a, a satanic paedophile plot because I was in favour of the coronavirus vaccine. I kid you not, and, and they were deadly serious, and they both put cameras in your face. I'm told they make their money from these so-called live streams on YouTube, and, and I can still, you can hear it in my voice, I still snigger at these people. I still find myself, I, I still find them completely ridiculous, but then one wonders, I wonder how many people have not got themselves vaccinated because of watching these idiots on YouTube. I wonder how many people have genuinely persuaded themselves that there's a satanic paedophile conspiracy. And I'm afraid at this point, the parallels with QAnon and with American politics that a call up to this program raised last week are impossible to refute or resist. You simply can't do it. You know, the idea that Keir Starmer is, is part of some conspiracy to protect paedophiles like Jimmy Savile, which was the clear... Uh, accusation being levelled at him yesterday is born of exactly the same uh, toxic, bonkers rhetoric that spawned the whole QAnon movement. And I, I, I think Boris Johnson knew exactly what he was doing when he threw it into the mix. And I now have even more sympathy for the non-mad elements of the American media than I had when they were trying to cover Donald Trump's lies. Because what do you do? Boris Johnson is prime minister. You can't ignore what he says. Donald Trump was president. He claimed the election was stolen from him. How do you cover someone who is prepared to go to places that our civilization is not equipped to accommodate? Our civilization is equipped to accommodate dangerous liars on YouTube. We've seen the damage that they can do on Facebook, but our societies, our political frameworks are not structured in a way that can accommodate the men at the very top of the pyramid engaging in the sort of dangerous lies that you would expect from Piers Corbyn or uh, some bloke on Fox News. I mean, it's bad enough that some bloke on Fox News and Piers Corbyn get any form of public platform, but that's the price you pay for freedom of expression. What we are not equipped to do is cope with calumny from the top. All politicians are lies, yes, but there are lies and there are lies. There are opinions that turn out to be wrong, there are predictions that turn out to be false, and then there are barefaced lies. There are deliberate and obvious lies. I thought I was at a work gathering when in fact I was at a party. And then I wasn't accusing Keir Starmer of failing to prosecute Jimmy Savile when I accused Keir Starmer of failing to prosecute Jimmy Savile. Here's the transcript. Here are the worlds of him doing it. Here's him claiming that he didn't. And it creates something that is terrifying. And people will be falling for it. And I'm sorry, I know this upsets you sometimes, but not everybody who falls for it deserves to be attacked. Not everybody who falls for it should prompt disgust. In your mind, a lot of these people mean well. And they really believe the crud that they're being fed. You couldn't expect me to make an observation about that without mentioning Brexit. And on this side of the Atlantic, that's where so much of this flows from. So much of it flows from there. Believing things that aren't true and then being forced by a combination of politics and personality to double down and treble down and quadruple down in support and in defense of things that you now know not to be true or things that perhaps you knew all along would not be true. And I think he did it on purpose. And if he did it on purpose, then he bears responsibility for much of what happened to Keir Starmer yesterday, but not all of it, because the people would have been there already. And the nonsense about vaccines or satanic paedophile conspiracies or Julian Assange would have been spouted anyway.